So shout out to Co Carnage for pointing this out on Twitter uh, because apparently Jump Ship just dropped an official reveal trailer, and I've only seen snippets of gameplay of the early access gameplay on um, on Twitter. Apparently, it's coming to PC and Xbox uh, later in 2024 in terms of an early access. I don't know about full launch or anything else. We're going to dive into links. We're going to do all this other stuff right now. But what we're going to do first is we're going to watch this trailer because I've heard it's a blend of like, well, let's just watch the trailer and let's see what's going on here because it, it, it the, the, the snippets I saw looked pretty good. Jump ship, baby. Hi. I'm Philip Kolianos from Keepsake Games, and this is Jump Ship, a mission-based co-op PvE space adventure. Okay. In Jump Ship, teamwork is crucial. Mount turrets, tackle emergencies, and ensure your ship's integrity to complete missions and reap the rewards. Okay. While Jump Ship is best enjoyed with up to four players, solo players are welcome too. Each mission in Jump Ship demands strategic choices. Jump to risky sectors uh, with high risk high reward. That looks good. We'll take I don't know if it's as good as Ever Space 2. Oh, oh grapple ship, hooks. Unique repairs, or perhaps so. some extra credits. Alright, we just arrived. There seems to be a jammer preventing us from jumping further. Is it like a com is it's it like, like a it looks like a blade of like using our sensors Halo, we can tell that ships are patrolling two. the area. With some good positioning and teamwork though, I'm sure we can make our way past them undetected. Sneaking? We made it. Time to enter the facility. We'll On foot, it's here. essential to stay together and use all gear and equipment you've looted to stay alive. Okay. When that's done and all loot is collected, it's time to return to the ship and... Pirates! All oh, come to the station. Warping in. They're like outside on the ship. That was close. Good thing nothing got severely broken. Let's jump to the next sector. I wonder what we'll find there. Jump ship is packed with a wide range of challenges from intense ship battles to on foot exploration and sometimes a mix of both. Every jump will feel fresh and give you something different. I wonder if it's procedurally generated. So in a nutshell, you start with choosing your ship, you go on a mission, reap the rewards, and then return back to your hangar. <coughs> they there said you choose your ship, so you can have more than one ship type. Before embarking on a new adventure. And that's Jump Ship. Fresh wish list, like and subscribe, and join our community on Discord. All right, so I want to know more, obviously, here. So let's get a deep dive in Jump Ship for this trailer for this upcoming PvE mission-based co-op FPS for up to four players where you are the crew of a spaceship. Um, and jump ship transitions seamlessly from creating the ship on foot uh, and spacewalks, engage in intense battles both on the ground and in space, and always keep your ship upgraded and intact. Teamwork is the uh, key for survival and victory. Okay. So it kind of looks like, the, it does look like an early access title. I mean, the graphics didn't look, I mean, it looked good, but it didn't look, you know, phenomenal. Um, but that's okay. Um, this appears to be their first major project according to this statement so developers worked on take two a way out brothers and wolfenstein this appears to be their first mainline project in a co-op shooter sounds right up their alley um let's look up some more here um can i let's exit out of this jump ship game they've got a steam page somebody says it looks like a mixture of sea of thieves left for dead and ftl i would also say uh, Halo. I, I mean, the grapple hook looked exactly like something um, out of Halo. It says J Jump Ship was originally called Hyperspace Pirates of Atira. Okay. It's an early access title with a release date coming. I, I saw it today or later in 2024, but I wonder if there's a, um, a post here. Oh, no. They're using AI-generated voiceovers. It says the developers describe how their game uses AI-generated content like this. Pre-generated voice cloning text-to-speak where it makes sense creatively. So um, I played uh, Robin Hood Sherwood Builders recently, and it also utilized text-to-speech voice cloning, and it was some of the most horrific voiceovers I have ever heard, ever. 
So that doesn't make me hopeful that this is going to have really good voiceovers. That's unfortunate. Um, it's going to be a 20 gig file. It doesn't sound like it's going to be that big. Do they have a website? Or is it just... What's the name of the company? Keepsake Games. Alright, welcome to Keepsake Games. It's five, it's, so it's a five-man team. With over ten years of experience on each person. Um... Quick commercial break, everyone, to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time. Really appreciate the support. All you got to do is join as a member. You get access to private videos. You can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see. And beyond that, don't forget we're multi-streaming over on Twitch now, so you can support over there as well. Thanks so much to everybody. Let's get back to the video at hand. Find a member of Hazelight. Tokoboka, founding member of Mojang, designer of Mirror's Edge, product owner at Tokoboka, and founding member of Mojang, and co-founder of Coffee Stain Publishing. So, you know, lots of industry veterans here. They've worked on Minecraft, It Takes Two, Mirror's Edge, Toka Hair Salon, A Way Out, Goat Simulator, Brothers, Wolfenstein, The New Order. It's a first-person co-op multiplayer game. Uh, you and your friends have been flying the ship, firefighting, directing energy flows, optimizing engines, mounting turrets, and exploring derelict shipwrecks on foot while encountering a plethora of enemy AIs and exciting environmental challenges. Okay. It's an early avail it's an early access at the moment. They're hiring an animator presently. They're a Swedish company. Um, I mean, it looks interesting to say the very least. And uh, I think that this might be something we keep an eye on. Um, it's not coming until later this year, uh, I'm assuming, is what I heard earlier today. So, obviously, as soon as I know a date, I'll let you guys know more. But what do you know about this? Is there anything? Is there any other information you guys can tell me about this? Because I know some people have said they've been following it since it was called something different. So, I don't know how long they've been working on this. All I know is I saw the trailer pop up in my feed. And was like, I saw Co Carnage mention. I was like, I gotta watch the trailer. I need to learn more. Um, so it looks like there's a core of an experience here, uh, and hopefully they'll be continuing to add polish. You know, early access coming later this year uh, could be fun. Uh, and with co-op, you know, I like a good co-op. And if it's coming to Xbox, I'll be really happy because uh, I, I, I like my Xbox controller. It feels good. I like my PS5, but the PS5 controller, you know, it is what it is. I'll I'll play it wherever it comes out. So hopefully we'll see it this fall. Let me know what you know. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, daily streams here and on Twitch, Patreon, Discord. Links are all down there. I'll see you guys next time.